Hey, what's good guys? So when the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus were released in the product red finish, I can't be the only one that was super disappointed that Apple didn't do the same for the iPhone 10. So in this video, I'd like to show you two custom solutions to get your iPhone 10 as close as possible to the product red look for as cheap as $10. Yes, you don't have to buy a whole new iPhone just to change the color, who knew? And of course, it's not easy to replicate the product red look as the color is actually beneath the glass and we're putting a vinyl on top of it. But I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to learn how close the skin gets. Now, the first one is from dbrand. They actually sent me this iPhone 10 with it already equipped, so no need to install it. You probably won't have the same experience, but I was actually quite pleasantly surprised to learn how this finish looks in the light. It bounces off of it in a very neat manner, much like the product red iPhone 8 and 8 Plus matte surface. This has a very similar feel and appearance, and I actually prefer it over the reflective surface of the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus in product red. And because it isn't glossy, that's one less surface to wipe fingerprints from all the time. Definitely helps your phone feel cleaner for longer. So the next one is by Colorware. And this is a glossy look, but there's actually a few in here as well. And it starts at just $10. If you want the camera lens cover, it's going to be a little bit more. Anyways, after some difficulty opening it, there are many different versions. Of course, you can still get the skin if you have an iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 8, or other iPhones, and you want this surface as well. You don't have to buy a new iPhone just to get the product red in those either. But this is basically the style that it comes in, you have a choice between a version that wraps around the borders or one that just covers the back of glass. I definitely prefer the one that goes around the borders, extra protection there because a lot of people's borders definitely do scuff over time. So this color here I think is the closest to Apple's version. It's a dark version, kind of rich. There's a lighter version as well if you prefer that. Installation took me all but five minutes. You got to be careful, but it was pretty simple and I've only done this once before. So you want to press down all the edges firmly. You do get some creases on the very edges and you just roll those out and uh, you're done. All right, and here is the finished product. Very, very close, I'd say, to the actual product red. You do get some texture in the vinyl, and if you've ever worked with vinyl, you know that that's very hard to not have because it isn't glass. So under lights, you'll see some tessellation a little bit there, but otherwise, it looks very good. The actual color is quite close, and I love how it wraps around the edges. When you're looking at it from the front, you can see some of that border as well. It looks really great. Honestly, the Apple cutouts, Colorware does a better version of it. It's larger for some reason than dbrands, but both look good. I mean, it just matters what you want. Do you want a matte version of this red? I'd say dbrands is superior to Colorware's matte version. It's a thicker vinyl, so it definitely feels more durable. Or do you want a glossy look that's more accurate and closer to the actual product red version? I'd say Colorware definitely does a better version of them. Either way, I'm very happy with both of these. And I've actually been using the dbrand version now for about two weeks and it's held up fantastically. I feel like that one would last longer over time just because the skin is thicker, but I can't speak for the durability of the color wear. I've heard from others, it's good as well. And for those that prefer it, you can buy a skin for your camera lens as well. I personally do not like that. I like the dark, vast look of the lens as it is, but that is like a dollar or two more for those that do like that look. So this is it, guys. This is the product red skin. Comparing it to the iPhone 8 Plus, it's not exactly like it, but it's very, very close. And for $10, I mean, you don't have to upgrade your iPhone. You can keep your existing iPhone and uh, not deal with any of the hassle. Now, this version here on the end is an actual version that I'd like Apple to do with a glass back. This is from one of my earlier projects. It just looks really good, and it's a phone that I would love to use on a daily. For now, I'll keep using these skins because it's as close as I can get. So just want to say, I've never really been a skin guy, but after using one that these companies sent me for two weeks, it feels good. Your phone feels a lot thinner versus a case. I know it's not as durable, but there's something about it I really like. So thanks for watching, guys. If you want to buy one of these, I'll leave links down below in the description. Otherwise, this is as close as I can get to product red on my iPhone 10 right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.